Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to hop on here and share with you my knit crate that I got for March. And then also I have some other happy melt that I thought I'd go ahead and throw into this video and get it all done at the same time. <laughs> but I did get my knit crate um, a few days ago. Can't remember when. <laughs> and uh, this one is one of the like gradient sets. They've done that maybe once a year. They usually do like a gradient set. This one's a worsted weight and they had a few different colors and I was hoping so bad that I would get the pink one because this one doesn't have any alpaca in it so I'd be able to use this one because it's super harsh merino which is much softer of animal fiber and it doesn't bother me like rough wool does. So I was like nervous when I was opening it at, in my car because <laughs> I did not wait to open it. Um, and when I opened it I saw the first one and I was like, oh, it's not the pink one. So I got all sad. But then when I opened it the rest way, it was the pink one. And the reason I thought it wasn't the pink one is because um, the palest color was facing out. And in the car, it looked gray. And I thought like I got the neutral tone one. But I got the pink one. So I was so excited. Because I told Devin, I was like, I never get the ones I want. And then I, it actually was. I just didn't open it all the way. It stuck. This tape on it. So anyways, I was super excited about that. So I got my knit crate. I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it. This box. Alright, so the theme was Metropolitan. Is that right? Metropolitan, yeah. Metropol Metropolitan. I can't even say that. <laughs> but these are the like color um, inspiration. <laughs> They're here. And it's kind of got the different colors there. This is the pink one. You just, lighting's not good. And those are also the patterns that was included this month. And it's got a code there for a coupon. Knit Crate did actually lower their prices, uh, which was pretty cool. And uh, they're giving you more options for picking out what yarn you want. And they also have super good deals if you're a member. Uh, it's called Double Down and they have other random sales just randomly. You get them through your email. But you can get like a huge percentage off of yarn. I've seen a lot of people get multiple hanks of yarns that came out in the monthly uh, subscriptions for like super cheap each that's why that's why people are able to get like sweater quantities and stuff but uh, yeah anyways I'll leave that link below if you're interested in checking it out but there's no pressure I know this kind of yarn is not everyone's cup of tea it's not even really my cup of tea really the fancy yarns um I'm a worsted weight kind of person and I, I usually go for acrylics because one I'm allergic to it and two I don't make a lot of like fancy garment type things I make toys and blankets and things like that so but yeah, anyways, this is the one I got. It's in a bag. Let me get it. See, it's pink gradient. This is the one I saw, and with the lighting in the car, it looked gray. So, but it's actually a really pale pink color. I'm not gonna be able to show it to you because the lighting's not good. My good tripod's in the bedroom where Devin's sleeping. <laughs> so I'm using my old tripod. It doesn't have a light on it. So I'm gonna pull it out of the back here. Oh, they're so pretty. See, now you can kind of tell it's pink. Pretty pinks. And it's Knitology. Uh, worsted and all the information is on the back behind the yarn. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna pull this off. These hanks. Okay. So this colorway is called Sunset. It's 100% superwash merino, worsted weight, 448 yards. All four of them together. It's machine wash delicate and tumble dry low. That's why I like this yarn. I gotta get the baby. I got her. <laughs> she was fussing. Let's see if I can hold her pinky in her mouth. She still hasn't learned how to hold that. So here is the colors. I wish I had better lighting for you today. The windows over there I'm setting different than normally. But it's so pretty and pink. <laughs> I love pink. And uh, I'm going to make something with it. I don't know what yet. There's 448 yards. So I'll, I'll figure out something to make with it. And the extra this month was a um, measuring tape, which is perfect. Because I had two of these. I actually have more, but I don't know. I gave the girl I used to babysit a bunch of them. Because I got a bunch gifted to me in a heart attack once by, from Ryan. You know what Ryan? That was, that was the Easter themed box. I think that was in 2020. Oh my gosh, was it that long ago? Was it last year? Might have been last year. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, Jesse broke all mine. That's what I'm trying to say. So I got this one I'm going to hide from him. And hopefully he uh, won't find it and destroy it. <laughs> Alright, so I do have some other mail. It's going to be a little hard for me to show it now. Because I got her and she's wanting me to hold her binky. So I got a card from Barbara. She's the sailboat Barbara. <laughs> That's how most of us were, you know, like, 
always say that she lives on a boat. She's in Florida for now, though. I think she's been staying in Florida for a while. Uh, I believe that's where her son lives. So there's a card. Very pretty. And it is a uh, congratulations on having a baby card. <laughs> and it's just got a nice note in there. So thank you, Barbara, for that. And then I got two little packages and then a bigger package. So this purple package is from Jennifer. Oh, it's hard to do one-handed. <laughs> This is a little dress for June she made. Yeah, it's for you. But you don't care right now, do you? You just want to suck on that pacifier. There's the little dress. See, it's cute. <laughs> it's got little buttons on the back. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Move your fingers. Move your fingers. Move your fingers. There you go. <laughs> okay, I had to get June some food. <laughs> she got hungry. Anyways, I uh, showed Jenna first. So the next package was from Christy. And she sent mostly stuff. Whoops, I just took his little hat off. Mostly stuff for um, Jesse. But she also sent this little amigurumi for me. There you go. I just pulled his hat off. <laughs> so it's a little um, leprechaun gnome. It's got his little nose in there. So I'll be putting him on our mantle with my other St. Patrick's Day decorations and he'll go on my box and I'll pull him out every year to decorate with. So he's so cute. Thank you for that. And then for Jesse, she sent a puzzle. <laughs> she makes a lot of noises. And uh, she sent him some bookmarks and stickers and these are bookmarks that he can color himself so that'll be fun for him. And this little bag's got stickers and behind it is um, temporary tattoos. Uh, I just can't get them to shift. <laughs> They're like kind of air, air sealed in there. But he'll love all that when he gets home from school. And a note. So the last package is a bigger box. Let me see if I can get it over here. <laughs> it's from Maribel. Maribel. <laughs> like my southern comes out. So it's got baby stuff in it mostly. A little bit of mama stuff. Open it up here. So she included a bag that had some little puppets in it. So these are cloth um, farm puppets. There's a cow, a horse, and a pig. There's the peak. So those were cute. Jesse really liked those. And this really cool baby book. I thought this was neat. I had something similar to this with Jesse. And you put pictures in it. And it's just got, you know, it's like all baby books. It's got um, where you record all their first things. And it's got each uh, page has like a pocket where you can put documents and pictures and stuff in it. So it's really neat. A little baby book that I will get caught up on. <laughs> and then here's the card. Hard to do this one-handed. But the baby needs food. I can't get the card out of the envelope. There it goes. <laughs> and it's got a B for baby. So it's a really cute card. Thank you for that. And then also for the baby is this really pretty granny square blanket. It's yellow and purple. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure I can see it. So it's a nice blanket. It's another blanket for you. Nice big size baby blanket. And then this one's knitted. I absolutely love knitted blankets because they're so squishy. And it's pink. And it, should, it looks like the, the, what's that regular knit stitch called? The knit stitch? <laughs> it looks like the knit stitch. Just, it smells good. <laughs> um, big pink baby blanket. I can't even show it to you. It's because I got a baby in one arm. <laughs> and then in the bottom was yarn for me. So this is a big old pack of six Karen Sport. Yeah. Uh, it's called Island Orchid. So it's a really pretty color. Sport weight. So I'll find something to use that with. Four. <laughs> and then also there were three of the Amigurumi yarns. So this first one is, oh, I think the name's covered up with the sticker. It's from Ollie's. I saw last time I went to my Ollie's that they had some of these too. I can't, I can't see the name. It's right, it's under that sticker. But it's this pretty blue and gray and white one. This is tootin'. <laughs> So there's that one. And then this one, okay, this one's not covered up. This one's called Dinosaur. That makes sense, because you make dinosaurs with it. <laughs> dinosaur. That one's probably called, what are them little things? Those are Norwals. So it's probably called Norwal, <laughs> I'm assuming. And then the next one is, I'm assuming, probably alpaca or llama, because it's what's on the cover. This one looks thicker. No, it says size one. I guess it's just a bigger 
uh, amount of yarn. 239 yards. Sorry, Susie, I squished you a little. 239 yards. Oh, it's just fluffier. It's just fluffier looking. <laughs> but yeah, so it's cute little yarns for me and some stuff for the baby. She's down here eating right now. Ooh, there you are. Say hello. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that. Uh, I got to put all this stuff in this box and put it up later once she gets done eating. And give Jesse his stuff. He's going to love that. And I'm going to figure out what to do with that knit crate yarn. Because I finally get to keep one. I only get to keep like one a year. Because they never make Super Rush Merino regular crates. And if usually if they do, it's got something else mixed in with it. But this is 100% Super Rush Merino. And it's pink. <laughs> so I can use this one. I'm excited about that. But yeah. So I got to put all this stuff up and get her fresh way fed and burped. And then I will see you guys in another video. I'm going to hopefully do a No Catch Stamp episode tomorrow. If I get a moment to record. I don't know if I will. Because she's been a little grumpy the last few days. But anyways. I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.